Now we are up to BR10. BR10 is a modified block. Part of the modifications is to simplify this tip area. So you're going to go to the booklet, and I've got this right here. And I've numbered my pieces when I was doing my block prep so that I know which ones go where. And I have them laid out over here. And it's kind of a big layout. So I'm going to start from the largest part of the triangle and work, work my way down. From an assembly standpoint, I'm going to take the base. I'll base the base here. And I've got a lot of options to do this. I can attach these to this to 17, make this a unit, you know, I can make this a unit, all that kind of thing. So what I'm going to look at here is I am going to make uh, 10, 11, and 12 will be one unit. And then 9, 14, and 15 will be one unit as well. I will make 4, 7, and 8, and 13, one big diamond. And then I can add 5 and 2 together six and three together, attach that, and then add number one. So the first thing I'm gonna do is base this. I'm gonna baste the long side first, and then I've got these little tiny edges here. So I'm gonna base that next, and then I'll base these. You just gotta be real careful not to get rid of those little edges, because that's gonna be key for when you attach it to the row. And for these, I'm going to base the outside edge first and then the other two. So then whatever you base first, the tags are going to go towards that direction with a triangle. So I will make my tags go out as much as I can. So we'll get started with assembly. So I've basted my uh, large piece and the two pieces to connect to it. And so now I'm going to attach them. So I've got this piece all put together. I'm going to set that up here and then I'm going to assemble my next unit which will be these three pieces. So these pieces have been basted and assembled. So these are ready to be attached to this section. But before I do that I'm going to assemble this mirror unit to put on over here. So I've got this unit all assembled and I'm ready to attach this to the base. And I have the center diamond section here, four, seven, eight, and 13. They're all basted and these two, these are connected in pairs so already. So I've got each one of these connected. So then I'm gonna make this into a diamond. And then once this is together, I'm gonna put everything together. So this diamond section is now completed and I will attach all of these four parts to each other. So I've got all of the pieces put together and so now this is what I've got going on here. This section should come to one point. It's not perfect but it will relax into itself once I get the papers out and then I get it quilted. So I'm not going to jerry-rig this anymore. So I'm going to now I'm going to baste these pieces and put them together and then I'll attach them. And the same thing for this side. Baste them, put them together, and then attach them. So I basted these side pieces and I've connected this side's pieces. So I'm going to connect these and then I'll be able to connect both of these to the main section. So I've attached the two side pieces, and so now I have everything on my triangle except the tip. So I'm going to base the tip and attach it. So I've basted my tip, and the problem is I've covered up my markings. So in order for me to figure out which end I gotta put in the hole, you gotta look at this piece. There's this, these are shorter than these so you want to make sure that the long end is facing out and then you attach these into the hole so I've attached the tip 
and now I have a completed BR10 triangle.